All right, folks, so in this video, we're going to do a quick BIOS overview for the ASUS Prime H610i Plus D4 motherboard. This is actually my first time looking at this motherboard. And you'll find that uh, I will go over, uh, I'll just show you pretty much all the menus. There's so much stuff on here, it takes a real expert to know everything about every little menu pick. Uh, yours truly, though, I have installed... Uh, hundreds and hundreds of motherboards we uh, we don't know everything about these right so we'll just give you the basics so when you first fire this up you know you're gonna end up in uh, easy mode which is what you see here we have a basically our motherboard we can see there's an i9 12900 kf in here Wow you will also see the uh, the memory speed how many sticks of RAM so I did put uh, only one in because the fan was blocking eventually I'll go back and take out the um, the fan and put that second stick in overclock your RAM here so XMP is enabled so we're up to 3000 megahertz you can see the CPU fan and we are using a Noctua NH U12 S Redux motherboard temp here CPU temp and so interesting enough, uh, I thought I was putting i3 12100F in here. This is kind of funny I put this CPU in, but oh well. If we had some uh, drives in, you'd see them for a boot drive boot priority. So you'd be able to move them around. All right, so let's look at uh, advanced mode. And folks, I have a little bit of a cold from a uh, recent trip to California. So it looks like the person next to me on the last flight got me sick. Um, that's another story though. All right, so my favorites, you can see all these things in here that you can add. Um, we'll go over these menus in there where they normally belong, but uh, usually there's a key to uh, remove these or add them, all right? So let's go over here to main. So you see this bit of information. You see once again the CPU. We can click on security. You could add a password if you wanted to. Let's bump over to AI tweaker. So you see their XMP1 profile. This one has two XMPs. If you needed to drop your speed down, you would do that. Because a lot of times, folks, with a cheap motherboard like this, You'll be not be able to run it at the top speed of, uh, you know, quite a bit. Uh, a lot of DDR4 RAM will not run at its top speed on this motherboard, okay? This one is, uh, if I remember correctly, limited to 3000. So, Intel Adaptive Boost Technology. AVX related controls. And looks like we're going to have to hit escape to get out of some of these timings. DigiVRM. Internal CPU management. So power limits uh, would be in here. You know whether they're going to work that good with a motherboard like this. Probably not. Um, you know this CPU is not a good match for this uh, motherboard. Tweaker's Paradise. So this this is one of those spots where if you had a really awesome motherboard like a ROG Strix, um, you could do some base clock frequency boosting on a uh, lock CPU. But in this one, being it's DDR4 and a crappy motherboard, you're not going to be able to do that. So we'll open this one up. All right, let's bump over to jump over to advanced. So there's a lot of stuff in here, folks. I'm going to try and go through these relatively quick.
Most of these are not that exciting. USB configuration. NVMe configuration. And let's jump over to monitor. So you have temperature monitor in here, fan speed monitor, voltage monitor, Q fan. Now, uh, if you want to know how to update the BIOS, we'll do that in a future video. Compatibility support module, secure boot, boot configuration. And under tool is one of the ways, one of the places to go to flash your BIOS. We'll do that in another video. And then exit uh, and save your changes, right? So if you changed your XMP to enabled, you'll want to make sure you save that. Thanks for checking out this quick BIOS overview, folks.